Hello everyone and welcome back to this brand new video. I'm Lars Schouten and today I'm here uh, in my garage actually with my cart and the engine. And um, yeah, we actually wanted to replace our piston from the engine a few days, well, like just over a week ago. And eventually we found out that the engine broke. Well, the support of the starter motor broke. So um, we basically had to take the whole engine apart so that we could weld it back together and um, yeah we did that so instead of just replacing the piston it became a big revision like we replaced the bearings the gaskets uh, you know we fully cleaned it new water pump and everything I think the engine should be good as new now and I really hope it still runs uh, we'll just have to see about that when I can actually put it on there and um, our plan is to be driving tomorrow but in order that we want to drive uh, everything must be ready so yeah, we first have to finish up the engine. I'm going to put on the radiator and the ignition. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit... Uh, <clears throat> I just woke up, it's a bit early in the morning. Um, but yeah. So I hope I put it on the right way, but it might be that it should be like to the right of the support. But I personally think it should be to the left. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to do it. Anyways, this is for your spark plug. You just put it on there like so. And then we have, I believe this one is for the power valve. But we're going to put that on later. This is for your vacuum, I believe. This one should actually be here. This one should be over here. And then you have this one, which should be on the vacuum. On the bottom of the fuel pump. Well, this is not the vacuum. It comes from... Like, the vacuum comes from... All the gears that we have here it's not really a gear but over here you have your balance thing and over here you have your water pump so there are some gears in here so that it so that the crankshaft can just um, basically spin the others I don't really know how to call it but So the engine is pretty much ready for as it is right now. Ignition is on there, the engine support is on there and my radiator. Very important, I'm going to charge my battery right now I think and I can already put on the sprocket and take out the old fuel. I'm going to do that right now and we maybe even need to change some tires though. Um, I'll figure that out. So right now I'm just going to put on the engine on the cart. Um, yeah, I still miss my flywheel and the clutch and my sprocket and my power valve. But I can just put the engine on there and just connect the wires and everything. Because just putting on the rest of the engine can be done on the cart. So 
I'm just going to be doing that. And there might actually be a chance that my engine right now could be a bit slower than it was before because of the new piston. Now you might be thinking the new piston should be faster but when you buy a piston there's like a layer of I don't know what it's called but there's like a black layer on it and that basically makes sure that the fuel and the oil uh, stay on the surface so that the wear will be less right and the thicker that layer is so the newer your piston is the more resistance you also have uh, in your cylinder so if you have an older piston with a thinner layer uh, you will basically have less resistance in your cylinder which makes it possible to reach your rpms a little bit easier so that's what i heard well that's what we heard from someone who has a lot of experience from it i don't know we'll just see if if it has any difference i don't think i can recognize it but there might be a chance that there will be a difference So uh, basically all the wiring that needs to be attached to the engine is for the starter motor, uh, my fuel line, like this basically comes from the tank through the filter and then it goes over here to your fuel pump. This is my temperature sensor which is connected to my lap timer, RPM sensor which comes over here, it's this one, this is my crankshaft sensor it basically measures where my crankshaft is and i believe these are some wires from i mean they're for my ignition but i'm not sure what they exactly tell from information but it might be something from the ecu obviously also your idle uh your throttle basically <laughs> So good morning everyone, um, the car is actually ready for it, it's on the trailer, so we're basically ready to go, I'm just waiting on my dad right now, and uh, yeah, yesterday I also just sprayed it in with some WD-40 to make it look a little bit better and a bit shinier, so, um, so we will just head to the track right now, I'll see you there. So right now we've arrived at the track and the car is ready for it, um, we're basically just driving with a uh, base setup. So we didn't really change anything. Uh, the track is a little bit wet, so um, good thing that we have to drive the engine in. So uh, I just have to keep it on the track and just accelerate and then just brake again and accelerate. Just doing that all the time basically. And hopefully we'll all just stay together. So uh, we taped off the radiator pretty much so that we can get a lot of temperature in. And if it's getting too warm, I can just open the flap or I can just get off some tape. But so. Uh, I'm just going to be waiting now and then I'm going to be driving. I just had my second session and um, yeah luckily 
we didn't really had any problems with the engine also not with the car so that's actually great um, yeah I'm happy the engine is actually still running and that it actually runs and right now I can actually just start pushing so that's fun so last time we were driving uh, it was raining so basically what we did, we set the front of the frame a little bit higher just by setting one ring to the upside so that your frame will basically come higher and because it is dry now I'm going to just set it in the middle uh, so maybe that can make a change in the drive as well Right now I've done three sessions and um, yeah it's going pretty well already uh, I think the engine is good and the setup is pretty good as well so I'm happy with it and um, yeah I'm having a lot of fun while driving and yeah it's going all right now I think I have to work a bit more on my smoothness because I think I'm steering a little bit too much um, so that's something that I'm going to try on each session because that's something I really need to work on, especially on this track. So hopefully we can improve on that a little bit throughout the rest of the day. So my fourth session is done and um, I don't know, I don't really think I improved a little bit or anything. I was just driving but I actually think that I was over pushing way too much. So uh, yeah, that's unfortunate but hopefully I can improve on that. I'm saying this all the time but hopefully we can improve on that. Um, I'm missing quite a lot of grip on the rear, I think. So um, we have a set of mojos here with us. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I want to do. Maybe I'm going to be driving Mojo on the rear and just comments on the front. I think I'll just try to do that and hopefully we'll have a bit more grip. And I'll just be able to drive a little bit more smoother because this wasn't really my best session.
so I just had my fifth session, I think. And um, this one went actually better than before. And um, yeah, I think those mojos really helped. I felt that I had more grip and my fastest lap was around two tenths faster than before. So um, I'm happy with that. Right now we're going to change the main jet. See if we can let the engine run a little bit better. So uh, instead of 165, we're going to 162. So I'm going to be doing that right now. And then uh, hopefully it will run a little bit better.